This is a tutorial on how to create an interactive demographic map of your city or town. It's a very useful map to create. It doesn't take a lot of time if you just know a couple of things. Here's an example of the map we're going to create. This is a, a map showing the city of Abilene, where I am right now. As you can see, you can uh, zoom in and out. You can scroll around, and it shows a thematic map of different demographic variables. Right now it's showing the percent of married couple households, but you can change that if you want to. You can look at different variables uh, like uh, uh, never married, people who are never married, and it shows it will change to update according to the demographic that you want. You can choose from social characteristics, economic, housing, demographic, it pulls a lot of popularly requested data all into one map. So it's a very helpful thing to create. I'm going to show you how to create a map like this for your area. We're going to start on data.census.gov. We're going to use the census data profiles at the census track level to display demographics for the chosen area. This tool is pretty quick to do, and in less time it takes me to explain it, you'll be able to create a map for your area if you just know a couple of things. To begin with, we're going to go to the advanced search. Advanced search works by having you fill out a couple of filters that are over here on the left column. There's a filter by geography, by topics, you can choose the survey that you want to get the, the data from, the years, etc. When you make choices, it will update your selections according to the choices that you made. The first thing that you need to know is that you should pick the filter first that is the most important for your application. We're wanting to have demographics about a specific locality. So geography is the most important thing for us right now. So I'm going to select this geography filter. Now the other thing that you have to know is that for this application, this mapping application, um, geography does not simply mean a location. Geography means the smallest level, the smallest unit that you want the data aggregated for. Okay, so if you choose uh, state, it would give you a single average for the state for each demographic, like the overall median income, the overall median age, that sort of thing. If you choose place, then it's going to aggregate this at the place level. And most people are going to want to subdivide their city into different neighborhoods or different regions. So the unit that we want to have this aggregated is census tract. This happens to be the most detailed level of aggregation that we can get for the data profile tables we'll be using. So go ahead and pick census tract. And then we'll just fill out the questions that it asked us. Um, choose your state. I'm going to do my state, but you pick the area that you want. I'm going to scroll down to Texas. And then it says, which county is, is your area in? Um, I could scroll down, but that's a really long list for me. I'm looking for Taylor County. So I'm going to search it out, and I will choose that. And then I want all the census tracts in Taylor County. So I'm going to choose this first option, all census tracts, because I know my city uh, encompasses all of Taylor County. When I select that, it adds it over here in the chosen filter. Make sure that when you make a selection that it shows up over here in your filter choices. If it doesn't, you haven't clicked through all the way. Now, in uh, this city's case, Abilene, Texas, it happens to span more than one county. So I have to go over here and make that choice again. If, yours only, if your city only covers one county, you won't have to do this. But I'm going to choose 
uh, go back and choose my census tract. I'm going to go back and walk it down to Texas. And this time I am looking for Jones, Jones County. Choose that. If I knew which census tracts were included in Abilene from Jones County, I could make that selection here. But I don't know what the track numbers are. I think most people are not going to know that. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose all the census tracts. We'll be able to tell from the map which is part of the city of Abilene and which is not. And I confirm that that selection was made over here. So we've got our geographic area. We've got the aggregation level noted. The next thing to do is go down here and look for the data profile tables. Data profile tables are really useful because they pull together demographics across a lot of different topics. They're the most popular requested items, and it's a really handy thing to get an overview of an area. Data profile tables are in the American Community Survey. So go ahead and select that. This is the only choice, five-year estimates. We pick that, and there it is, data profile. So I'm going to pick that, and it's added to my list. Now the next thing to do is tell I want a map generated from that. And here we go. You can, just to give you an idea where we are, I'm going to zoom out. So here's, here's Texas. And if I zoom in until I start seeing... Uh, the area that we're talking about, there we go, and here we are in Abilene. And I don't see anything colored in, that's because I haven't chosen a demographic yet. So here's the, the categories of choices I have, social, economic, housing, demographic. I'll go ahead and pick social, and up here tells us which specific data point from social characteristics that it's graphing. It's a uh, married couple household. These numbers are the census tract numbers. You can choose to display those or not. Um, one of the first things that I'm going to do, I'm going to collapse this filter over here just so that we have a little bit more room to look. And then I can change the way this map looks. I can go up here to the boundaries and I can say, let's, let's show a boundary around the place so I can see my city limits. Now I'll actually put a label. This is the column for boundary label. I want to label that place. And now Abilene shows up. If you, uh, if you did not want the census tracts labeled, you can uncheck this. It's your choice for how you want to make it look. If you want to choose a different variable within social characteristics, you can drop this, uh, click this drop-down arrow, and maybe we want to see um, um, households with just female household. So it will automatically up that, update that for me. If we want to look at economic characteristics, um, Maybe I can make a choice. I can say, well, show me where uh, people are in the armed forces. Where, where are they living? And that makes a lot of sense. They're concentrated down in this part of the city because that's where we happen to have an Air Force base. So you can see how this map works. It's pretty uh, uh, comprehensive as far as the types of data points that you can show. It didn't take a lot of effort to do it. You're just going to data.census.gov, choose census tract, drill it down to your area, and then pick American Community Survey Data Profiles. If you want to use this map in other applications, get a link to it, you can go over here to More Tools, and there is Share, and there is the URL that you can send. You can either put this in a web page, you can embed it in, and you'll have a map like this that people can play with to get the demographics they need. Very useful map, didn't take a whole lot of time. Thanks for watching.